Well, hello, Charlie Rocks here. So this is an interesting looking game. Playing this as part of Next Fest. It says Dawnlands, an open world survival crafting cross-platform game. I almost feel like it's they seem to stuff as many SEO keywords as they can in the actual title. So we know it's an open world crafting survival cross-platform game. Okay, so how's this going to work? Let's check it out and see. This is coming out soon, well, coming soon, and it's by Seasun Games PT Limited. The blessing of the goddess. Here we go, it's got an intro. Long lasting... It was till that day when the demon lord came all of the sudden and wreaked havoc everywhere on earth. The goddess rallied the warriors to fight against the demon lord without flinch. Having to retreat after being defeated. The demon lord turned into wisps of curses and fled. Awaiting the opportunity to come back. In the places where the curses were laid upon... All things on Earth were plunged into misery and suffering. It didn't come to an end until the warriors following the goddess came. For hundreds of years, they tracked down hither and thither from continent to continent, battling with demons of all kinds. The light will be the beginning of changes. Okay, looks like we are the demon hunting squad then by by uh, that little intro there. So, uh, oh, we need to create a login. Right, let me create a login and we will soon jump in. Okay, I've managed to create an account. Now, sadly, for European people, it uh, looks like the only servers I can connect to is North America, South America, or Asia. So let's see what the latency is going to be like on this. I can only have one. Okay, only characters on the same server can team up. Fine. Okay, let's click start. So I get to create my character. Straight away, we need that character with the moustache. Let's look at the female characters as well. Yeah, let's go for let's go for you with the moustache because that is glorious. So I can change the look of my face here. Choose jaws. Um, let's see what else can I do. I always like to sometimes make my character look quite unique. Um, can I give myself? Yeah, really pointy chin. <laughs> pointed chin and a pointed face. And I want massive eyebrows. Massive scouse eyebrows like I see when I'm out and about. Can I change the colour? Yes. No. Face. Eyebrow colour. Hey, eyebrow colour. And that shows me a pair of eyes. Um, that's actually eye colour. <laughs> Not eyebrow colour. That is two different things. We've got brow. I don't understand why I can't change my brow colour. Okay. <laughs> Look at the eyebrows like that. Uh, mouth. You can't even see my mouth because of my, my majestic moustache. Um. Yeah, that's gonna go. Oh, we got. We got. We've got skin tones there, and we've got hairstyle as well. Um, yes, bright blue hair, like frosting. Let's call myself Shirls. Single player adventure, let's go for that one. Click on the plus sign to create a world, tap to enter your world name. Shirls is world. So I'm gonna play all by myself, probably not what you're meant to do. You're probably meant to play with other people. Let's just see if there's like a tutorial of some sort. And then if there is, we can always just jump in, jump into the multiplayer. 
Ooh, it is slow. This could be because of uh, the ping and latency. Okay, find the exit. Hey, finally awake. Okay, who's talking to me? Oh, it's an owl. Wow, talking bird. You all have the same reaction when you see me. Just call me, what was it? Heidi. Oh, Heady. So where is this place? It was a section of Grand Hall. I wonder why it's abandoned. Yeah, completely abandoned. What are you looking for? A backpack. I haven't seen anything pop up other than you. Hey, just to be clear, I didn't steal your stuff. Okay. Looks like it got lost on the way. I've been waiting for you this whole time. It's something I promised before they left. So where are we? Why have I got no clothes on? And I've got a, a talking owl. Okay, who are they? I felt as though the ones I made the promise to would be the ones to awaken me, and I've followed them since. What do you remember? Um, about the demon lord. The forest is ominous. It must be quite dangerous. Let's stick together. Okay, don't worry about getting lost. Your quest objective is marked on the map, right? So where do we need to go? Ooh, what's that? There's a big crash just as you arrived, woke me up. Looks like you've already smashed up the floor. What's this, though? What is that? A chest. Coins. I like coins. I have coins. Okay. So we can hold down shift and do a little bit of a speedier run. We need to find the exit, though. What's that do? I've got a torch. Checking we can burn. There we go. Yes. Solving puzzles. Okay, I've got a, a cloak of the brave. <laughs> Look at me, my fancy cloak. Okay, there's loads of chests. Imagine if each of these gave me a different item. <laughs> I got a vest. Okay, I, I now have an axe. What does that do? Tab. Oh, tab switches between the items, so we have to whack that now. Okay, and my axe is now broken. Let's switch back to my torch then. Okay. Ooh. This is pretty. The world has changed so much. I must have been asleep a few years, decades, maybe even centuries. That area looks odd, almost like it's infected. I recognize the structure on the island. I think it's called Teleport Beacon. The black mist around the beacon looks ominous. Do you have the purification ability as well? I suddenly remembered a thing. So at the start of the game, it said we'd beaten the demon lord. So I think I think that's gone very wrong. I'm going to turn that flame off. That's so annoying. What the heck? The joy of grass sledding. Why walk down a long slope when you can slide? Equip a shield. Stand at the top. Hold down jump, and off you go. Um. <laughs> what? Long press spacebar to slide. Oh my! What on earth is this? But there's, there's, there's things to collect though. Stop sliding. Okay, I broke my plank. I got distracted by mushrooms. Yes. I've got, I've got all the mushrooms. Are we just going to collect loads of stuff? Okay, I got a rock. Got some more rock. Oh, there's loads of stuff for me to collect. Why, why are you interrupting me with a deer? I'm trying to collect stuff. Um, What? Don't go into the water unprepared, it's quite dangerous. If you want to go to the island... Okay, so we obviously need to build a boat. That huge tree looks about right. Why don't... Oh, yes. Right, we need to make an axe then. Which is probably why we're collecting all the stuff. Right, so we'll click on that. Stone axe. I've got all the stuff already. Let's make it. Okay. Press tab and equip, equip it again. First of all, I need to collect stuff. So 
So what's these? Berries? Raspberries? There's more bits of rock and stone here. I'm having you all. More raspberries. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um, is that it? Right. Let's choppy, choppy tree down. Okay, let's... Uh, whack. Whack. Ooh. New recipe, stone pickaxe. Well, so much for making a, a boat. We've, we've just crossed it with chopping, chopping. Okay, what are them things? Try to purify the teleport beacon. Uh, they do not look friendly. Let's bash them in the face with my axe. I don't know if I can block. <laughs> These monsters are so difficult. Why do they have this weird black mist on them? No matter what, let's try to pure... Okay, so we're just going to reluctant and press T. Uh, purify. Try to purify the beacon. Okay. How do I do that there? F. There we go. Um, yeah, that, that's good. I think. Mysterious machines that look over the land in silence, possessed of special powers to give them ancient times, used to teleport from beacon to beacon. Unlocking more beacons will enable you to get round faster. With it awakened, light overcomes the spur, guides the one who awakened it to a hidden exploration spot nearby. Ooh. Using a bottle of teleportation po potion will allow you to power up and activate a beacon. Okay. We are the enemies of these evils. For sake of the mission and the land, we have to find where the other evils are. Okay. It's not going to be easy. When you can't purify by yourself, call on me to help. I'll have some... I have something important to tell you. While I was in the air, I spotted a familiar looking statue. There's a fire as well. Okay, so I guess we need to go over there then. Um, we can't go in the water though, can we? Oh, can we swim now because... Oh, there's horses. There's horses over there. Can we, can we swim now because we've purified it? Okay, I'm wet. Guess I Jack has to go and stand near the fire to dry out. Watch out, the strange smouldering rift up ahead must be the work of evil. And there are wretched goblins guarding it. Right, so I need to get a new weapon. Uh, I've got a new recipe, which is stone sword. So we will try and make me one of these. We need wood and rock. I have both. Okay. Let's equip that with F. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks like a cricket bat. Bet I can cook meat on the fire now. Roast. Okay, if I add ten wood to that. Right, roast. Roasted meat. Uh, let's cook. So do I just wait until it's the countdown's finished and take my meat off? There you go, I've got some roasted meat. It's not told me to do that yet, but we'll do that. Nice. Okay, what's all this? Mushrooms. I've cooked all the meat though, that's fine. Oh, I've leveled up. <laughs> Just leveled up from collecting stuff. Let's go and um, bash these things in the face. There's Fatch. I wonder if we can build a house. Right, there's goblins that are ignoring me, so let's uh, <laughs> stealth attack them. Oh. Right, we're going to purify that. Sanctified dust. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but it's funny. <laughs> it, it is quite entertaining, just grabbing all the stuff. I'm not noticing the ping or well, the latency delay too much. Ah, right, what's this? Let's purify it. Come on, give me, give me the chest. Ooh, what's all this? Look at all the stuff that's in it. 
Oh no, this is all the stuff here. That's all my. That's all the junk I'm collecting already. Right. So where's this statue we're going to? It's over here somewhere. I'm just collecting everything. I don't even know what I even need. This looks like a town. So it's the same kind of statue in the cave. No wonder it's so familiar. The previous one was broken. Okay, use the karma dust. What's it going to do from that? So it says it's going to give me a gift if I put my karma dust on it. Okay, we'll awaken it. We fixed it, look. We're bound together, you and I, by the eternal stars. Okay, let's click rouse. Use the sanctified dust when you perform sanctification to rouse a statue, restoring its abundance reserves of energy. When it ends its science, it will present generous gifts. Okay, so we're gonna rouse it and get things. Okay, I'm gonna claim it now. I've got a survival talent, increase basic hit points by 10%. I've got coins and currency and a recipe page. Nice. Okay, I've unlocked a load of stuff. I don't have a clue what any of it means, but the someone just turned up with a massive backpack. Who's this? Annie. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? What do you want from us, girl? What's the rush? Can you fly too? No, wait. What am I on about? Of course birds can fly. Oops, I was going to talk about the gobble shells. What's a, go what's a gobble shell? These things here must be. Please let me shoot them down. So I guess we're going to learn how to do a, uh, a bow. I'm interested to know if this is single player... What's the multiplayer like then? Can we can we switch from single player to multiplayer? Let's see. So we have got multiplayer adventure. Let's do search for world. Okay, so this is random people around the world, I guess. Uncle Grabass. So you have to apply to visit. What? What does that mean? Apply to visit. Visit is a multiplayer mode that allows you to temporarily stay in another player's world and cooperate. If your visit is approved, you'll be able to visit the world. Or you can settle. Well, that's interesting. So you can visit and help, or you can actually settle. Interesting. Anyway, I am not going to do any more of that. So yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. It certainly looks different. Very, I feel like it is a little bit... It's a little bit laggy because of the high uh, latency for me, but it looks interesting and I wouldn't mind playing a little bit more and seeing what sort of recipes and stuff we unlock, see where the story goes. It is, it is pretty looking though, I'll give it that. Anyway, that is it for now. So if you did enjoy watching this, let me know below.